Hey, welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know is I have got a crap ton of palettes. And yes, that is an official term. Crap ton. So, I decided to uh, grab my willing assistant. Oh, hello, coming over. Oh. Hello. Darling hubby, Chris, mm. to give me a hand with mm. sorting these out because um, I'd sorted a lot out and they're in storage drawers, but the storage drawers are so heavy I can't physically lift them. So, mm. Mr. Muscle's here. Mm -hmm. Flex, 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 flex. Mister, Mister. I'm going to do wood. Uh, don't bite me. Mr. Muscles here uh, will be assisting with the lifting and all the heavy bits. Um, and uh, we have two boxes ready: one for decluttering, yeah. and I think they're down there. So. Yeah, and one for maybe where I'm. Mm, I'm, I'm going to try and be as ruthless as I was last time. Because I've got far too many. I really have. Um, I'm never going to get round to using them all. So I'd rather that they went to people who can enjoy them before they end up getting crappy. Um, disclaimer time. Because we all have the sunny disclaimers on YouTube. Really? Oh yeah, disclaimer time. Why are people so sensitive? I don't know. Stop being sensitive. There's no need. You're upsetting yourselves. That's my official... Advice to people. Am I allowed to say that? Or have I upset someone? <laughs> right, disclaimer time. Yeah, if I'll, I'll, I. I'll shove it off. <laughs> it's going to be a long film, folks. Grab a drink. <laughs> if I declutter something that you like, don't take it. As an offence, it's just that I've got so many, I just physically can't get round to using everything that I've got. Um, please don't ask me to send you things. Friends and family are going to get first dibs at the box. And then uh, anything that's left <laughs> over, one of my friends, Maz, uh, can use the pigments in her... Um, she's, she's starting, she's doing, she's doing lots of crafts and stuff and she's starting acrylic pouring and things, making like coasters and whatnot. Uh -huh. So she can make use of any of the pigments that people don't want the actual um, palettes for. Right. Before we carry on, can we have a guarantee that there are no cowboy products in your lineup? I need my small drum kit. I there are no cowboy products in my lineup. Okay, that's good. The hat was merely a convenient prop. Okay, can we start now? Yes, I'm really not mad, honestly. You must be because you married me. <laughs> must be a little bit of nuttiness there somewhere. Right. Let's get started. Um, I've got a few um, palettes here that are either ones that I've got recently from Depop where very often if I, for example, when I bought this off of Depop, this is Jeffree Star's highlighter thing, it was bundled with another palette or two um, and they very, people very often do that on Depop. And then you contact them and you say, I'm really only interested in the blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yes, but the blah, blah, blah isn't selling and that's why it's it. So you're like, okay, fine. So some of these are palettes that haven't ever been touched because they were sold as part of a bundle on Depop. Some of them haven't been touched because I ordered them from AliExpress and then when they arrived, I'd got other palettes while I was waiting the six weeks for them to arrive, which were too similar of a colour scheme to make it worth me using these on screen 
um, and some are just some of mine that I pulled out to do a retro review on and then didn't get around to doing a retro review on. Right, so first things first, this is the uh, Revolution Flawless palette, which is one of their 32 shadow stupid little things in it. Very, very neutral. I think we know that's going to go into the declutter pile. And then there's the Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. You will see a lot of Revolution palettes um, coming up through this because I went through a phase of buying pretty much all of their bloody palettes. So that's Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Again, there's a lot of browns in there. If you cover up that section there, it's pretty much another neutral palette. So that one can go. There we go. This is Freedom, and they don't do. They they got rid of this range about six months ago, I think. This is the House of Glam Dolls Glam Academy, which looks. like this. Um, I think I've used it once and it's got creams across the top here um, which I'm not a fan of creams and powders in the same palette unless there's a cover over the creams so though that is more colourful that can go into the declutter and I've got a sleek eye divine. This is acid. It really is called that. Oh wow. Acid 570. But I've got all of my um, all of the neon pigments that I want out of this I've already got in loose format and I've since managed to pick up uh, the Urban Decay electric palette which is what I got this to dupe for anyway so that can go into the uh, yep we recreate that music video mm, not in the kitchen no uh, -huh. uh this is the technic electric beauty similar thing i was trying to find really bright neons so that can go into the declutter this is one that i bought from new look and it's just called the nude palette I genuinely have no idea why I picked it up because it's. I think I must have had a one of those midnight brain farts, so that can go into the declutter. Right. Ah, this is new. I haven't used this yet. This is a liquid glitter eyeshadow, so I'm keeping this one. Uh, this is the Kiko Milano Active Fluo. That's quite a name. It is. Uh, this again was something that was attached to something else on Depop, but I do want to give this a go before I decide what I'm going to do with that, so I'll hang on to that for a minute. This is the Rimmel Magnifies. Why is the fridge grumbling? It's defrosting. Oh, okay. Wow edition, which I picked up when I was going through my. Uh, grungy greens and I didn't realise that the grungy greens in here were actually shimmers so this has never actually been used <laughs> but I'm going to declutter it oh. oh okay these two I bought from AliExpress and by the time they had arrived I'd got the nine pan Colourpop versions, Aha Honey, and uh, their mint one that they did. So that's what the lemon one looks like. Tilt it backwards so my beauty light doesn't drain it out. And that's what the mint one looks like. Um, Although this has got deeper options than the Aha Honey, I have since picked up in my I know I am to hold it but 
I picked up the Urban Decay Honey Palette, which has got all of these tones in it, so I don't need this. And this hasn't been touched either, so that can go into the declutter. declutter. Same with this mint one. Um, when it arrived, I was really disappointed that there were so few greens in it. Um, it's literally just that row, and then you go different shades. So, my friend who sent me, I can't say her name because she wants to stay anonymous. My friend who sent me all the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. She's not a hacker. No. Give me anonymous. Yes. <laughs> uh, one of which I'm actually wearing today. This is very Victoria. I feel like I should be sitting here going. And not seeing. Um, I'm going to give that to her, so I'll stick that in the declutter box for the minute because I know where that's going. Uh, this is the Elf Earth and Ocean. This isn't going anywhere. I use this a lot over Christmas and New Year. And Elf have recently bought out little four pan palettes that they call bite sized. So I picked up the blue and the green ones of those, which are super similar to the tones in here. So I want to compare the two together um, to see just how similar they actually are. That's why these are out on my desk at the moment, because I need to use them as a comparison. So those are going nowhere. Then there's this, um, I'm really glad that I've managed to get past my fear of butterflies because it made me able to buy this off of um, Colourpop. This is their Flutterby palette which I love. It's got all the sort of, my favourite shade from my Modern Renaissance palette is the Born Fresco which is, is pretty much this one here that they call Wild Wing. Trying to get you to see this without the lights reflecting off of it and blaring everything is very difficult. I wish they'd stop doing these reflective Why don't things. you hold a bit of cardboard at an angle over it to deflect the light? Because then the shadows would be in shadow and you won't be able to see the colour of them. Yeah. I know. Um, so this is almost like a palette built on my favourite shade from Modern Renaissance. So. This has literally very recently arrived. I need to film with that, so it's going and nowhere. We don't have it going nowhere box, do we? It's going to go back into this box and back onto the table oh. for me to film with. Um, Too Faced Gingerbread Spice. Um, again, I'd actually been using this quite a bit over Christmas and New Year. Smells amazing. Unfortunately, Too Faced are now on my shit list. So, I genuinely don't know whether you're ever going to see this on my channel. You may see it as a retro review in the future, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's certainly not going up anytime soon. This is out. This is the Turkish Delight palette, which... I'm ashamed to say I haven't done a single look with it yet because I bought this and it was it was a point when there were a lot of different palettes coming out and I wanted to um, preview some of the more indie palettes and then I wasn't well when well, it was Christmas so I never actually got around to filming with this so I did ask I, I did a list of all of my revolution palettes um, that I'd either A, not used or not used for a while um, for a list for people to decide which one they wanted to see in the next retro review and this one won, that's why it's on my desk because I am going to be doing a retro review with this and the final one that's on my table is this Villains Misunderstood from Colourpop that I managed to pick up, oh this is a nightmare to show you, that I managed to pick up off of Depop, you can just about see the colours there, because I'm going to be doing, um, I did my 
what if they were good, which was, um, you know, if, if the Disney villains were good series, um, and I'm going to be doing something very similar called If They Were Bad, where I turn some Disney princesses bad. So I'm probably going to be using that misunderstood palette in that series. Right, darling, can you pass me the first drawer up, please? Oh, is it, is it this one, the Jeffrey? Mm-hmm. Aliens! Yes. Lots of aliens. This is my, my Jeffrey drawer. So we can be pretty damn sure there's going to be nothing decluttering out of this. But I will just show you the palettes that I have got in here. Blue Blood. I'm not going to bother opening all these, we all know what they look like. Blood Sugar. Thirsty. Friday, pleased to meet. It's Friday actually. <laughs> Beauty Killer. Androgyny. The palette that he did. No, no, girls. With Morphe. Jawbreaker. Mini Controversy. Mini Jawbreaker. Conspiracy and Alien. I am absolutely gutted that he has discontinued this palette because this is my favourite Jeffrey palette out of all of them. The yeah, yeah, he's, he's discontinued um, Aliens and he has discontinued Thirsty. Now, Thirsty, I can understand because it wasn't the greatest palette in the world. But I'm absolutely gutted that he has got rid of aliens. Is it a conspiracy? It is. Can you take this because it's heavy? Yes! Ow. It ain't heavy, it's your palette drawer. <laughs> next drawer, please. Oh. Uh, which was next? The one with all the big palettes in it. Oh, the, this one here. One's having a revolutionary movement. He's going to comment on every palette that he sees in here clearly. This is my, they're either larger or, because um, the majority of these I'm storing the palettes sort of this way up, they're either ones that are too tall to store this way or ones that are so delicate I want to store them flat. So, let's get to the bottom of this. Get to the bottom of this. Get it. Mm. Can you hold those a minute for me? Yeah, I'm holding. Thank you. Please. Right, we have got the original BH Zodiac palette. Keeping. The Zodiac Love Signs palette, keeping, although one of the shades did arrive broken, but Hubby bought me this so it's going absolutely nowhere, but that's why I kept the cover for this one, because I don't want it to get any more shattered than it already is. I've also got my Jacqueline Vault, I'm not going to open all those, you know what they all look like. Is it, is it a shill? Jacqueline shill. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, again, I bought that off of a friend um, to film with. I do like a couple of the palettes in it. But, again, she's on my shit list. So I doubt very much you're going to see her again. But 
Uh, I do like a couple of the palettes, so that's that's staying where it is for the moment. It may end up disappearing though. It's got a really scary picture on the back. Hubby thinks she looks like she's about to bite somebody. She does. She looks rabid. I'm telling you, it's those teeth. <laughs> right, continuing, yeah. otherwise this is going to be a ridiculously long video. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is the Sample Beauty Paradigm Shift palette, which is stunning. I bought this during a sale of theirs. They did two versions of this. They did version one, uh, and then they did version two, which is uh, has higher pigmentation on it. Go on. Pigmentation. A nation of pigmen. This I got from Unique Beauty. Mm -hmm. E-U-N-I-Q-U-E. This is their Seven Deadly Sins. Which again, fell into that section of... I've not actually used it yet because I had so many other palettes arrive at the time that I just didn't get round to using this. But I will do a look with this soon, I promise. Another person who's actually on my shit list. But I really wanted to try this palette. But I didn't buy it directly from her, I bought it from Depop, so I wasn't giving her any more money. Cat Von Disease. Oh. The Fetish palette. Nice grungy colours, so I use this off camera. You're never going to see that on camera. Ever. This is the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival palette, the original, not the supersized one. And this is the My Kit Co. I love it because it's a double sided. Yes, it's got all of my, or most of my individual shadows in as you can see right if you can take this one and then the next one please oh, yes there we go we've done the alien oh and there's two that i missed that i took off the top of there this is my i bought this beauty bay had a ridiculously cheap sale so i picked up a six pan empty palette to put my sugar pills in because I wanted to name them on the top so suburbia kimchi and candy crush no can you put that on the top of the previous yeah I am I'm thank you up and then and then I've got hence hubby saw the revolutionary this I got free with an order because they They'd hit like a million, I think it was they'd hit a million people on Instagram or something. Um, it was in that drawer because I didn't, I haven't used it yet and I really didn't know whether I'm going to and to be honest looking at it I don't think I am. So that can go into the declutter pile. Ooh, exciting box. Oh, there's another little palette in front of me I missed. Wet n Wild limited edition bed of roses. Keeping. I like that one. This is the one that I wanted to keep laying flat. This is the Alma palette from Amy Hart's Beauty in collaboration with Amy Loves Beauty. And as you can see, even though I put the cardboard circles back in, we've still got shadow coming up everywhere. Oh, sorry. Oh. This is a very very softly packed shadow. It broke on arrival to um, my friend Kay and when she sent it to me she put these little cardboard circles in and saran wrapped it as I suggested to her so that it got to me in one piece which it did but because it's so so finely packed I'm keeping it lay left flat like this rather than storing it upright to try and keep those shadows. I've even um, reset them with the isopropyl alcohol and they're still very very crumbly so if that can lay flat on top of that yes and be very very careful. Now, on this what, the one that's... One that you just put the sugar pill back into the big, big pallets. Mm. 
I see. Thank you. But next. Ooh, there's a, a naked box of classic scary horror. You wanted my help. I did, yes. Just forgot how long this was going to take. Oh. Right. Uh, at the front here, I've got my C colour Savannah palette, which is the dupe of the Natasha Denona. That's going nowhere. I really like that. And then I've got a makeup obsession. Took it to the grave. Can you put that in the maybe box, please? Oh yes, the the the, the, union, the strange maybe box. This again is another makeup obsession. I'm not quite sure why I've kept it in the box. Oh, that's just torn it. Like like Natalie Umbrella stand. Oh, that can go into the bin. Yeah. Right, this is their Black is the New Black. I really like this palette. That one's staying. This is the... I've got a load of the Revolution. But it's all reloaded. Right, I've got a load of these Revolution reloaded. This is the Visionary palette which is a dupe for the ABH Norvina. To be honest, I've got those shades all very similar to that in the Colourpop Flutterby palette, which is smaller and it's not plastic. So that one can go into the uh, declutter. Oh. This is the Velvet Rose. Uh, this is the dupe for the Anastasia Soft Glam, which I will be keeping because I do like this. Keeping it for the minute. It may go in the next round of declutters. This one is the Iconic Division which is the dupe for Subculture. I have since picked up Subculture, so I want to do a film comparing the two, and then I'll probably declutter this as well. This is Deep Dive, <clears throat> which is their version of the Tarte Icy Betch palette, the original one. So I'm going to keep this, because I do like the colours in that. This is the Marvelous Mattes. Meh, the Marvelous Mattes. Which I've only used a couple of times. Um, am I going to use this? I don't know. Can you put that in the maybe fire pile, please? Mm, maybe I can. And this is Passion for Colour looks like this. It's mainly shimmers. Uh, so that can go decluttered please. Mm -hmm. And then I've got these two. Mermaid's Heart and Unicorn's Heart for My Heart Revolution. Unicorn! That one's Unicorn's Heart. And that one is Mermaid's Heart. No mythical creatures were harmed in the making of these palettes. I think the mermaid's heart can go, that can go into the declutter. Mm -hmm. I think I'll hang on to a unicorn one just for a little while longer. This is Pretty Little Palettes, the vampy one, which looks like that. I love this. One of the best blacks ever. I love indie brands as well. Uh, so I am keeping that one. We're doing well. Getting there. I have some more Colourpop palettes. You haven't mispronounced anything at all. That's what usually happens when people do these like, I think. True. 
this is the Femrosa Carucci collab that they did. Um, I think I'm keeping that one. At least for the time being, anyway. This is my Yes Please palette. But they used to put the it used to have cute AF on the front. It now says Yes Please on the front. Um, so dupe for the first Natasha Denona palette. I'm going to keep that. I do like that. My Little Pony, which my Auntie Barbara used to sing in the 80s. My Little Pony, skinny and bony. That's only because they weren't fed. It was cruel. <laughs> Plastic toys, Christopher. So I'm <laughs> keeping this because I really like this. Um, this is another Kat Von Disease palette. This is the only other one of hers that I've got. This is the Chrysalis palette. I do like that. Can you stick that in the big drawer so that it's with the other Cat Von Disease uh, one, please? What? Will I catch rabies? No, you'll be fine. Uh, this one. This one. Oh, this one. One with the armour on top of it. Oh. So, that can go in the bin. That's just the cover. Right, this is the Zoeva Rodeo Bell. Which my friend Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Duck got me. Well, they sent me a voucher and I used it to buy this. So this one's going nowhere. Uh, and then I've got my Zoeva Cool Spectrum, which looks like that. You know, if you cover up the teals and the purples, it's a very boring palette. That can be going to declutter. I didn't Declut think I'd say that, that is for sure. This is my LA Splash Classic Horror. Now the black broke and I have mended it and it's still busted. So it's really annoying because I haven't even used it yet. Um, can you... Hold your hand out a minute just so I can tip this black into your hand and then yeah. it can go into the bin. Thank you. Um, so that's annoying, but I am going to use this palette. At least, am I going to use this palette? No, I'm not, because where the black's come off and it's smudged on the sides here, and try as I might, I cannot get it off. Oh dear. Um, Clearly they're very upset about the black. They're very being upset about the black being broken. Remember. The problem is, <laughs> if a palette looks dirty, I don't want to use it. Can you put that in the maybe, please? Remember, it's very pigmented. Oh. <laughs> It's really annoying because it is a very pigmented colour by the look of it. There you go. I need a. Have a wet one. I need a Ted Mosby mask. He's the guy who herds all the pigmen. Oh dear. Right. <laughs> Inside joke, folks. This is my Urban Decay Naked Honey, which I mentioned earlier. And this is why I got rid of that AliExpress one because you can see I've got all the shades in there. Revolution Precious Stone Amethyst. This is a recent purchase. And I really like this. So this is going nowhere. Ooh, another Revolution Reloaded. This is their blackout <coughs> one. Now this is very similar. Black is the new black by Makeup Obsession. As you can see. Um, I think I'll keep the black is the new black. 
and I will get rid of the reloaded blackout. That can be uh, decluttered, please. Put that light out. <laughs> this is my Inglot palette. Going nowhere. Love my Inglot. It's got a magic lead. It has got a magic lead. Watch. Ready? No, just very, very good magnets, darling. Right, this is the I Heart Revolution Slime palette. I was disappointed there wasn't a colour like that on the inside. They've done slime that rather boring green there. But um, I did like this palette and it's one of the more recent, so I'm going to hang on to that. This is a chocolate cherry. Again, this is one that I've never actually used yet. So I will do a retro review on this. By looking at it, it's very similar to my... If you look at the tones, this is very similar to this Colour pop palette. Do I need both? I'll hang on to this and I'll do a retro review with it and then I'll decide whether it stays or goes. My avocado palette, this is going nowhere. I absolutely adore this. Really lovely, grungy. Grungy, grungy greens in there. I think that avocado needs a, a giant plate of tacos in front of it. We are not having Nicocado avocado anywhere near my stuff. Thank you very much. True. Right, go. This is the Carmi Kiss of Fire. This is his original, his first palette he did with Revolution, which has got my... Uh, wedding dress colour and my bridesmaid's dress colours in it and for those reasons and the fact that I absolutely love Carmi that's going nowhere. How many doulars did it cost? I think it was about 10 quid. Oh, 10 doulars, that's not too bad. And this is his second yeah. one, the Make Magic palette. Sorry, could this go in the case? What am I doing with this? case is going in the bin. Oh, okay. So uh, I missed the bin. Yes, this is his second palette. Uh, Make magic. I only really used this once. I need to do. I need to 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 use this again. Surely you perform magic. You don't actually make it. If that makes sense. And then I've got the oh. Tammy Revolution. I didn't get her first palette because. To be quite honest, didn't really appeal to me, but this one definitely did. Now I know a lot of people don't like this because um, these top shadows here can get hard pan on them if you're not careful. Um, but I really, really like the colour story, so I'm keeping it. And then I have tins. Just gonna lay these back down before I drop them all. Right. Revolution Rainbow. What has occurred, Jeffrey? <laughs> um, I liked this. I was disappointed with a lot of the colours in it, but that silver. Go the back of your hand, darling. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Look at that. So. <laughs> it's one of the best silvers I've ever seen. So, for the time being, 
and because it's in a pretty pretty tin it stays this is the forever flawless unconditional love palette which looks like that which again is very similar to that chocolate cherry palette isn't it right I will use the chocolate cherry and then I will use this one again because I haven't used this for ages I'll work out which one's got the best pigmentation and I will get rid of the one that doesn't Hmm. Told you I was going to be ruthless. Only the best pigmentation will win. <laughs> this is the Forever Flawless Constellation palette, which looks like that, which I will be keeping. I want to play with this a few more times before I decide whether it stays or goes. This is the Cannabis Chilled Sativa palette. Now, what annoyed me about this. This is one of my Pain Somnia purchases at 3am in the morning. I saw the tin and thought, oh, I'm buying that. That's going to be beautifully colourful and didn't bother to actually look inside it. So you can see we've got yellows and peaches and pinks and greens and blues and purples. It looks lovely. And then you open it up and it's green and brown. Brown. <sighs> Admittedly, it's a nice colour theme. It has got... One, two, three pressed glitters, which I hate. I hate pressed glitter with a passion. Um, but I'll hang on to it for the minute because I do actually like the colour story. But if you're going to put it in a tin like this, Revolution, make the tin reflect what's inside it, please. It's kind of reflective, but in a different way. If it wouldn't break the palette, I'd smack you over the head with it. Oh, that'd make an interesting noise. <laughs> Right. Next one, please. Next one. Okay, I'm being really good, aren't I? Uh, this one, the next one. Probably. Oh, oh. oh hey. Right. Let's take these ones out of front first. So I can get to the others. The others. Get to the others. In here, I've got one of my <laughs> old birch box boxes with backups in. So I've got a Rimmel One Deluxe mascara. I've got a Barry M. That's how I roll mascara. I've got two of these Patrice um, Glam and Doll Volume mascara mascaras. I've got a L'Oreal Lip Artist Pencil, Brow Pencil, and a Catrice Brow Pencil. I've got a backup of the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana Bronzer, which is more like a finishing powder because I heard they were getting rid of that. So I've got a backup of that. I've got a backup of Prime, which is the dupe for Pillow Talk in... Uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I got a little. I got a second one of these little mini Smashbox primers, and a little mini Paul and Joe primer, and a backup of the Becca uh, backlight. So that stays at the front here because that's got my my extras in, so that when I run out of something, I know what I've got and what I haven't. Okay. Let's begin. This is attached to the letter that she sent to the fabulous Angie. This Ooh. is my Viseart Libertine palette. This is the first palette that my friend Kay sent me. And it's beautiful and it's stunning and it's going nowhere. It's staying right here with me. This is a Tarte, that doesn't sound good, this is a Tarte Magnetic Palette with some random shades in. I think what I'll do, I'm going to, I'll leave this out, I'll check to see which ones of these are still okay and which ones I like. I'll put them into my big palette and then I've got a spare palette here for if I decide to pull some 
colours together from the big palette and make my own palette or if I'm going to head away somewhere for a weekend I'm just going to take some specific shades with me I've got a spare magnetic palette to do so right uh, W7 in the night palette which looks like that I've got a lot of purple ones that can be decluttered, please. And another one in the nude. Now I kept hold of this because it was a dupe for the Naked 3, the rose gold palette. But it's the sort of mauvey pinky shades that um, I've got in Flutterby. And I've also got in the Femme Rosa and I've also got in the Chocolate Cherry and I've also got in... Um, one of those revolution ones, so that can actually go into the declutter pile. Oh. I'm being so good. Right, this is the Spectrum or the Profusion Spectrum palette. This is going nowhere. This is amazing pigmentation. Amazing. W7 on the rocks. This is their version of the. Um, Hmm, subculture palette. I liked this, but I didn't like it as much as the Revolution dupe, so that can go into the declutter pile. Oh, I'm being so good. This is a Revolution Reloaded Passion for Colour. Pretty sure I've already I've not got, got one of these in the declutter already. I don't know, I'll have to go through it. I'm sure I've already put one of these in the declutter. Don't tell me I'd bought two of these bloody things. What, what, what were you looking for? Passion for colour. Is it a what, make revolution? It, it's looked, it'll look like that, darling. Oh. Something similar. Makeup Revolution London. Turn it over the back. Yes, yes it is. This is what happens when you have too many palettes. So both of these are going to be decluttered. Is it safe to say you really do have a passion for colour? <laughs> this is the Revolution Midnight Unicorn palette. Which looks like that. And I think, given that my goddaughters both love unicorns, I think I'll pass this on to them. Do they know a real unicorn? That'd be telling. Oh. This is the Revolution Dark Rain palette. Ooh, spooky. Spooky, spooky. Which is one row of mattes and one row of shimmers. Matching shades. Um, but what annoyed me with this... was that a friend of mine did the original artwork for this and then they got somebody else to copy it so that's going to be in the declutter pile please oh, okay. this is a BH Cosmetics weekend festival palette which I resisted buying because I've got the ABH Riviera palette which this is very similar to until they said they were stopping making it and then I'm like but I really want it and I've wanted it for ages and it went down in price and it's only like five quid so I grabbed it so that's staying I'm being so good this is my Urban Decay Electric palette that I finally managed to pick up look at that isn't that beautiful that's why I got rid of the sleek one this is the W7 Neon Nights which was sold together with this on Depop. So I'm going to compare the two. I don't think that W7 still do this palette, but if you have got it, I'm going to compare it to that um, Urban Decay and just see how similar it actually 
is. I'm doing so well. I've got rid of most things out of this drawer. Mm. Right, this is the when they hit a million. Thank you to all of our hashtag Riverholics. This is when they hit a million followers. You don't want to hit a million of your Which followers because they'll just get annoyed with you. It really reminds me of the ABH Modern Renaissance mm. and it's the movie tones that I've got a lot of. So I think that can go into the declutter. I'm mm. doing so oh, well. Oh. Oh, this is the first ever Revolution palette that I bought. And this is the Neutrals versus Neutrals. <laughs> that was a long way down. And although it's now very old, it's still got its pigmentation and I really like it. And there's a little bit of sentiment in me there because this is the palette that got me started on been mad about makeup. You're not mad. So I'm keeping it. This is. I'll very often buy dupes on AliExpress if they're by a company by, you know, say Beauty Glazed or You Can Be or um, Thamar D, that's another one, because they just dupe the palette layout. Now, when I ordered this, it didn't show you the cover. It just showed you the inside, and I'm like, oh, that's a dupe of the Huda Neons, because Huda is also on my shit list. I will film an updated hits list and shit list for you, so you know who you will and won't see on my channel. And then when it arrived, it actually says Huda Beauty Neon on the front, and I don't agree with using fakes, because this is a fake, not a dupe. Um, no, I always said I was never going to use a fake on my channel, so I'm not going to. The only time I did was when I got stung and um, got sold one, which I thought was genuine and it wasn't, so that can go into the declutter. It hasn't even been on my face, that one. Ah, oh, this is by Multitude Makeup. That could go in the bin dying. This is by Multitude Makeup. This is the Gemini palette, which has got a shade in it called Angela. Look at that. Uh, but I really loved this palette, and I loved the colour story. So it's going nowhere. I think they've actually since ceased business, which is a real shame, because it's a real shame. I picked up this Bubble Nebula Changeable palette from New Canby which is a dupe of the um, the latest Huda Beauty palette so I need to use that at some point on my channel so that's going nowhere for the minute ah now I'm getting into my Ace Beauty I have got Paradise Fallen going nowhere you're right down there, my darling. Yeah. and hungry. We might have to do this palette review in two sessions because I've still got four more drawers to go. Plus another one over there. So I think we might do this in two films actually. I've got my Ace Beauty Flare palette, which I love because it's got a row of mauves, a row of oranges, and a row of grungy colours. Perfect. I have got the Oceanic palette. That can go in the bin, baby. Oh, which looks. Look at that. Look at that beauty. I've got a. I don't know if this is going to go up before or after, but I've actually got a one row in the. Not a one row in the palette. I've got a palette bingo with Val, Ms. Mischief, formerly Gimme Lip and More. So I know I've got that coming up soon with her. So I don't know whether that's going up before or after. Right, last one then please darling. I've done really well. Oh, is it this one over here with the chalky bar thing in it? Probably. 
So I'm going to go. Yeah, that's why you're supposed to use two hands so you don't break the drawer that it's in. They're only plastic. Oh, it's fine. It's flexible. Pony. Give you it's flexible. You're Pon Sabu. <laughs> Revolution Unicorn Palette God Kids A Revolution Mermaid Palette That can go into the declutter pile This is the Thamar D dupe of the Emerald Obsessions by Huda uh, To be honest if I'm going to want colours like this, I'm more likely... Darling. Hi. Love the breathing. <laughs> if I'm going to use this, um, these colours, I'm, I'm going to go for either the Colourpop one or um, the Melt. So that can go into the declutter, please. Mm. This is the Blue Beauty Glazed Jupiter, which is the dupe of, again, the Huda... Violet Obsessions, is it? I don't know. And this Obsessions. Um, I like it, but again, I've got a lot of palettes in those shades, so that can go. This was something that was bundled with another product that I wanted to buy on Depop, so I kind of got it by default. This is the Beauty Bay EYN Bright palette. So I need to give that a try. Um, before I decide whether it's staying or going. Right, I've got a couple of palettes here. These are both dupes for um, the Urban Decay Cherry palette. You've got the W7 Pretty Please. like that and you've got the Primark Velvet Cherry which looks like that. So I'm going to pit these two against each other, decide which one is the best and get rid of the other one. This is the Revolution Galactic Palette. I liked it, but to be honest, the colours that are in here, I've got palettes that have similar colour schemes that are better pigmentation than this, so this one can go. It's going to go... go. This is the Essence Dancing on the Milky Way palette, which again, I, I bought and I still, I haven't even touched this. Um, so that can go into the declutter. Ah, oh, these are my two cream palettes. I've got the Revolution Pride palette that looks like that. And I've got the, the Makeup Obsession, if you've got it, Haunt It palette. Now, I'm actually allergic to most face paints, so if ever I do something Halloween-wise, I had been using all of my Jeffree Star coloured lipsticks. But as these don't upset my skin, I'm going to keep those and choose those instead. Two little mini chocolate palettes. I have got, well this shouldn't be in here, this is the Rose Gold Glow. This is a mixture of highlights. I let the god kids have that one. And this is the mini chocolate orange palette, which I think... No, it doesn't smell like chocolate orange anymore. Oh, all Terry's side. It's not Terry's, it's mine. Those of you in the UK will recognise what that is from. Um, I'm going to declutter that one, I think. This is the peanut butter cup. 
which looks like that. That can go into the maybe box, please. Maybe. This is the lemon drizzle palette. Lemon drizzle palette. Which I'm going to keep because on our honeymoon, driving round Ireland, hubby was feeding me lemon drizzle cake. Have you eaten it? So, I know it sounds dark, I'm keeping this more for the name than the colour story, but it's mine and I don't care. And I've been very, very good with all the rest of it, so. Um, I think that box can go now. This is the only other Too Faced palette that I've got. This is the Semi Sweet. And it was... One of the, oh, it still smells amazing, smell that. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Um, I do use this. It was one of the first high-end palettes I ever bought. This one and Modern Renaissance. Um, I'm not going to get rid of it. But don't expect to see it on the channel anytime soon. Right, this is Rude Cosmetics Tokyo palette, which looks like that. It's nice, I like it, but I've got a lot of tones like that, so that can be decluttered. This is the So Lush eyeshadow palette from La Belle. I really like this colour scheme, and I think it's the only um, it's the only palette I've got from La Belle, so I'm going to keep hold of it for the minute. This is the Essence Hello New York palette, which I really like. It's, it reminds me a lot of the Black is the New Black, but it's softer, and this grey here's got blue in it, so I'm going to keep hold of that for a little while longer. This is the Exposed Disco Queen palette. It is the only one of theirs I've got, but although I really loved it, there are only four mattes, which are these middle four here. Oh, and this black is a matte as well. So, although I don't mind doing an all shimmer look, I know a lot of people don't like doing that. Um, and to be honest, I, th I think I've only reached it about three times, so that can go into the declutter pile. This is the Revolution Regeneration Trends Mischief Mattes, which looks like that. Again, very nice, but I'm going to reach for Jawbreaker before I'm going to reach for this, so that can go into the declutter pile. This is the Sofix palette, the original one that she did. Which looks like that. Again, very neutral. Not really me. Not now, anyway. So that can go into the declutter pile. We are getting there, folks. And I'm getting rid of an awful lot of palettes. I've been very, very good. Better than I thought I was going to be. Mind you, to be honest, I think when I do my other half of my collection, I think there'll be far fewer palettes being decluttered because those are the drawers that I reach for most. This is the Tarte Icy Betch palette. <clears throat> Not the one they originally tempted us with, which is the 16 panner. Um, but it's, it looks like that, it's okay pigmentation, but it's quite nice for, you know, if you're going somewhere overnight, it's a nice small palette, doesn't take up too much space in an overnight bag, so I'll keep hold of that for the minute. Uh, Revolution Beautiful Darkness. Looks like that. I might hang on to this for a little while longer. I quite like that colour scheme. Do 
Dead or Alive. I absolutely love this one. I don't know if you can see the huge dips in that particular shade there. I've used this a hell of a lot. Does it spin you right round? <laughs> but it doesn't give you peat burns, so you're okay. <laughs> I can tell he's feeling tired and hungry. He's starting to get slightly more manic. This is the Give Them Darkness palette. Which looks like that. I think I'll pass this one on. That's the declutter pile. This is the Give Them Nightmares. Looks like that. But again, purples and greens. I've got other palettes I'm going to reach for before I reach for this one. So, this one can. I can get it back into the blasted box. <laughs> Why do you not want to go into the box? I can go into the declutter pile. <laughs> and then I've got two makeup obsession palettes left. And I need to go through the maybe pile. Maybe, maybe. This is the Be Passionate About. Very much a dupe of makeup. Um, modern Renaissance, rather. Uh, I'm tempted to grab a couple of shades out of this and put them into my Z palette but no I'm going to give it away as is so that can go into the declutter pile and then this is makeup obsession be crazy about which looks like that and that can go into the declutter pile as well okay. Right, if I can have the maybes mm. back up, please. I, I could maybe pass it to you, but I have to put that down first. There we go. Right. Put this back over here because I can use that again. Do the next one. Knocking everything all over the place. <sighs> Take it to the grave. Declutter. Not getting buried with this one, then. <laughs> marvelous mats. Yes, I am very marvelous, man. Declutter. Oh, why am I not that marvelous? Classic horror. It's going to bug me where it's dirty. I'm not going to use it. Oh, too scary. <laughs> and peanut buttercup. I'll hang on to this for one more round. And that's it. Are you sure? Yeah, can you pass me the clutter box up just so I can show people how much okay. I've done? Uh... You might have to stand up and hold it up because I don't think I'm going to be able to hold it. Stand up, stand up. There you go. So, I was going to count these, but there's a whole box. Full of palettes for friends to come round and oh, take it please and have a look through. I will actually in a minute I'll go through, I'll pull out the palette that I'm gonna send to my friend that sent me the lipsticks um, and another couple of palettes that I think she'll like from there. And I'll add them all up along with these ones that I'm passing on to the godchildren. And I will put on screen somewhere or in the description 
how many I actually decluttered. I am really, really proud of myself. Uh, so this is part one of my eyeshadow declutter. There will be a part two, uh, but expect far fewer declutters from those because those are the palettes that I use most often. Right. Okay. Oh, well, that remains for me to say, Hello. as ever, my darlings, Aww. is you'll stay fabulous. Mm -hmm. Give us a like just for my gorgeous helper who's been hard at work all day and has just uh. literally got out of the shower and just sat here and helped me do this. I'm very hungry. And he's very hungry. Well, I'll put some tea on. Yeah. yeah. So, please give us a mm. like for my poor, tired, hungry husband. Mm. Hungry, hungry husband. Hungry, hungry, hungry husband. husband. <laughs> all that remains for me to say, my darlings, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous. And depending on what the next film is you watch, either I or we will see you next time. Bye for now. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that like Jeffrey's welcome back to my channel? Yeah. This is a see you next time. I'm not as good as him, you see. I'm... No, you're better, darling. I can do sound effects. He's tired and he's hungry. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.